Mankind has benefited enormously from compounds produced by microorganisms, such as penicillin, that have revolutionized our treatment of infectious diseases. Microbial antibiotics are also known as secondary metabolites. Secondary because they do not seem to be crucial for normal growth and metabolism of the microorganisms. Despite the great societal importance of such metabolites, their fundamental natural microbial function is not properly understood. What are the roles and impacts of such secondary metabolites in natural microbial systems? This is exactly what a new research center of excellence will determine. The Center for Microbial Secondary Metabolites, or CHEMIST for short, has been funded by the Danish National Research Foundation. It is a so-called center of excellence, and our purpose is to understand why microorganisms produce antibiotic compounds and similar compounds. In nature, microbes live in complex, natural, mixed communities, and very rarely do we think they produce antibiotics in concentrations where they have antibiotic activity. And we actually do not know what their natural function is, why do microorganisms produce these compounds, how do the genes that encode them evolve and how are they spread? So thanks to this very generous support from the Danish National Research Foundation, we have now been allowed to ask fundamental questions. We're driven by curiosity. We're driven by an ambition to understand the nature surrounding us. The strategy of the center is to work with natural environments, soil, marine algae, fruits, study the microorganisms that in those environments produce antibiotic compounds, determine if they are produced. And we will in parallel to that, engineer artificial mixed communities that mimic the natural environments. And in the engineered communities, we can manipulate the ability of microbes to produce antibiotics. And we can then ask, how does that affect diversity, functionality of the community, and we can go back into the natural environments and verify if our theory, our hypothesis for what happens is actually true in nature. I just currently got hired as an assistant professor at the Chemist Center, where I'll be working with comparative genomics of secondary metabolites in bacteria and fungi. And already now, although the center is fairly new, we've had some really good and very interesting meetings where you put all these people together and you actually see this beautiful thing that happens in teamwork where you actually see synergy. So you actually see people who come from very different parts of science and they get together and they come up with ideas that they wouldn't have come up with on their own. So the center offers me as a new young researcher the opportunity to tap into a lot of really skilled and experienced people and broaden my own horizon, which I will be able to use in my future work. We draw on scientists that have expertise in natural product chemistry, in bioinformatics, molecular microbiology, molecular genetics, and also microbial ecology. We also have access to the equipment that's necessary. It is really forefront analytical equipment that we can use at this campus. We're also fortunate in that everybody participating in the center have a tightly woven network of international collaborators that we can discuss with and where we can send the young scientists abroad so they also get exposed to this environment. The biggest advantage of the center for me is really the connection between the different uh, topics and different expertise. And this will be also the challenge to work together uh, towards a goal, but also will be the strengths uh, that we can use uh, to establish something new. I recently started at uh, DTU as a professor. So DTU provides the freedom uh, to uh, go into different directions, uh, but at the same time to concentrate on something that will benefit uh, the work of uh, the society and, and we will be able to use our uh, knowledge and, and connect to companies as well. We will be training the future scientists. 
the scientists of tomorrow will understand complex biological interactions. They will understand the chemical, the bioinformatic, the genetic basis for these interactions. And any improved understanding of how mixed groups of microorganisms behave will improve everything we do from climate models to disease control. I hope that this center is going to be a place for me to grow as a scientist. I can't understand a natural system on my own. I need other sciences, other techniques, other ideas and other ways of viewing things. And that's what this center is providing me, a chance to put my own research into a bigger framework and allow me to study real systems as they really are.